Um, John, does it feel like you're starting to really gather some momentum now? I know there's only two wins in a row, but does it feel like things are starting to get on the, the right track? Uh, yeah, it's a, we're always a work in progress. Um, we feel like um, you know, we've, we've had some momentum at different times during the course of the year. We just haven't finished off the games. And um, the last you know, couple of weeks we've been able to do that, which is pleasing, and had our nose in front when we needed to be. So you know, it's still, we're still working at that, but we're still getting some synergy back amongst our team, which has been good. And and, um, and finishing the games off strongly. So there have been the improvements over the last couple of weeks. Can you lean on last year at all? Like you went on a good run at the end of last season. I mean, can you lean on that as an inspiration for the, the run in this year? Um, we, we sort of don't traditionally look, look backwards too much. It's always always about the here and the now. Um, you know, we, we, what we do know is that if we, if we play good footy and, we, we, and we're consistent at it and we play for four quarters, we, we give ourselves a real chance. We, we, we understand that. We, can, we think we've got a good belief in that. Um, but we still have to go about it and still have to do it. Only because we've done it once doesn't mean it's automatically going to happen. You've got to earn that right. You've got to go out and do it week in, week out. And um, and so we know that we've still got to go out and, and earn the right this week to, to play a competitive brand of footy against the Bombers. We have to do it. Where you're at at the moment, what you're seeing sort of behind the scenes, I mean, is the belief there? Are you, is it strong? Um, well, we think we we feel like there's been some more synergy come back in the team with some players coming back in that have missed a bit of footy, and, and that usually takes a few weeks. And so, so that's been good to see. And and you know, we've had some um, important times in games where we've been able to swing momentum back our way, and, and that's been pleasing too. So you know, there's been a couple of things we've been working on. We didn't see some. We've been working on for some time. We didn't see some immediate growth in, but we've been able to see that over the last couple of weeks. And. And so that's always good to see, uh, but you've got to keep going. It's, it's always sort of, OK, we, we, we're getting better at different things and now we've got to keep going, we've got to put the foot down. Bud probably had his best game for the year on the weekend. Has he got over that sort of knee soreness and that's what allowed him to have such a good game or is he just sort of, he's 36, he's always sore and he's just got to deal with it? Yeah, a bit of that. I think there's, there's a bit of that in it. He's, um, he got a knock early in the game over there and he came off, but that was just a knock on the, on the front of his knee. He recovered from that pretty well and he actually trained today and, and trained pretty well, so that's that's always a good sign. It's always, a, like I said, after the game over there, it's going to be a week-to-week -week proposition for him. Um, he, the good thing is he was able to train today, so that's a good sign um, and we'll see how he pulls up from that. And with the situation that you've probably got to win you know, at least three, maybe four out of five, does that make it a little bit harder to maybe give him a rest in the, if you needed to? You're just going to have to ask him to push through? No, uh, I think we'll make, we'll make that decision on a week-by-week -week basis. How he's feeling really dictates that. Um, if he's too sore to, to play or he's struggling to get across the ground at training, he won't play no matter what what's on the line it just means that you know that's it's a bit unfair on him you know we, we've um, hopefully that depth in our tall key position forwards um, is a bit better than what it was in the first half of the year so we'll make that decision week to week and um, you know if he's feeling good and ready to go and feeling fresh going into games which he has the last two weeks um, that's a good sign for him. Just on that like, is the synergy between the three of them Logan and Joel and when Hayden's down there is that starting to click better than ever now they're starting to get an understanding of what they need to do with Buddy obviously being such a big focal point. Yeah, they've missed a fair bit of footy, um, all of them at different times this year. And, and so whether the, you know those three in our forward line or some three key defenders that miss a fair bit of footy, you need to be able to sort of work together and, and get, a, get a bit of rhythm back together. And they didn't do a lot of training in the pre-season together either. So they're really getting that during the week training and on game day. And um, that's been improving, which has been good. We were reasonably efficient when we got the ball forward last week, which was good. And we won some important clearances, which was equally important to be able to get the ball in our front half. Um, and it'll be important again this week. The way Bud's playing, and especially some of the contested marking that we've seen, some of the best we've seen in the last couple of years from him, is it? Is his form sort of something that you could maybe see him even pushing on to next year? <laughs> oh, no, I, we'll just see how he goes this week. <laughs> it's, uh, 36, he's, um, he's very much, and I say that because... Um, he, he's um, he's very much session by session, see how he feels, and and um, the, you know if you asked him probably a, a month ago, he was you know he was pretty sore, you know he was really struggling to get up just from session to session. Um, the most important thing for him now is just to see how he feels for today, train well, and see how he pulls up. So, you know, as far as looking, he's he's very much just trying to make sure he feels good from from session to session, and he goes into games feeling well. So, um, you know we. We're at the point where that's all that matters at the moment for him. And another guy who came back last weekend was Chad. Um, what did you make of his return? 
Uh, yeah, he's okay. Look, he's just like the game goes. The game's going forward and it's going hard, and sometimes you can come into the team and and um, you know it takes a bit of time to, to find your feet. And he did some good things, and I'm confident he'll keep on improving. You know, he's a very good player for us, and and. Um, we feel like he's got that under his belt now and he'll keep improving now for the back end of the year, hopefully. And, you know, whether it's he and, and Errol and um, BJ and Rowie and those younger mids, um, really important roles they've got for us. And nice to get on top of the sort of clearance numbers in a game mm. as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's been an area that we've been disappointed in at times this year and dropped away a fair bit and we've, it's cost us grand position. And, um, and so it was good to get, get that under our belt this week and made a big difference at the important times of the games just to get some ground position. Um, it'll be the same challenge again this week is to, is to make sure that we get that ball in our front half and, and play the game up there rather than sort of digging it out of your back half. John, you've been um, linked heavily to Tom Barris of West Coast. Is there any interest there? Oh, what I, for those that know me, I don't say much, if anything at all, about, um, about players, particularly contracted players from other clubs. So. You know, I just stay away from that. Away from that, though, or him specifically. That that kind of player is that someone you might target. Obviously, Paddy's. You know, we know his future's uncertain. Dane's towards the end. So, is that something you might look to at the end of the season? I can't really comment on that because I think I know you say it's a step away, but it's not. You know, it's I, I, I stay away out of the list management discussions publicly because there's so much that changes. And it's it's an ever it, it evolves so quickly. It just changes all the time. So, um, you know, nothing much. From my from my income to that, um, fair enough. Um, Hayden McLean in the ruck. So is is you want his is that spot for this week again? Like, are you starting to really gain confidence in his ability to to play that role? And is he likely to keep it for this week? Yeah, he. Um, we thought he did a pretty reasonable job last week against Jackson. You know, very good, very good player and. He's a little bit undersized, but he competes well. He's predictable, and um, he gets the right spots when he needs to. And um, our midfielders now are starting to get a bit of confidence in that. So you know, that's a good sign. Um, you know, we feel like we've, if we need to, we've still got a couple of rucks we can bring in if needed to. But I think that he's. You know, we were pretty happy with how he went for, for the four quarters. He's got a big motor, gets across the ground well. So as long as he's predictable and competes hard, um, that's a good sign for him. Yes, hasn't in this week. Had an awful lot of close games against them in the last few years. What sort of challenges do they present? Uh, one of those challenges, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they've been close. They've been tight games, and um, um, you know, they've got a new coach now, and you know, we know some changes in their style, and um, they've got some very good players. They've um, they've had a, you know, I think everyone agrees a pretty pretty good year up to this point. So um, we get down on their home deck and see how we go. But you know, we we feel like they've. Um, they've made some changes and we'll have to cater for that in our style and make sure we play a really competitive brand. Do you notice any of sort of the old Brad Scott North Melbourne teams that you used to coach against against this one? So I wonder, as a, with, with a coach as much experience as you, you sort of come up against these coaches in their second and third clubs? What's that like? Uh, uh, as an experience or as old? Yeah. Um, it's, um, oh, it, it's, it's actually interesting. The game moves so quick. Mm. And so, you know, what we were doing three or four years ago has changed. And so I'm assuming that most coaches, what they're doing, particularly if they've sat out for a couple of years and come back in, they change as well. And the game just changes really quickly. It's probably every three or four weeks you notice changes in styles and different things that tweak, and certainly from year to year. So because the game changes so much, um, the, the coaches tend to move with that uh, because you have to. How's Pete Latham's tracking his return at the moment? Yeah, he's OK. Uh, the reserves didn't play on the weekend, so um, that was costly for him. His, his ankles had a bit of scar tissue in it, so he's just loosening up that scar tissue from a pretty severe injury that he had. So um, it sort of pinches on him a couple of times, but then he gets it going, certainly getting better. Uh, he was able to train really well on Friday, train really well today, so he's starting to feel better week to week. So we're hoping his ankle starts to really free up and be you know, be really there um, at the back end of the year to be able to come in and give us a hand. And Cal Mills is 150th this weekend, yeah. um, another Academy product who's just quite on leaps and bounds. I mean, mm. what have you made of, not just this year, but his entire career coming out of this Academy? Yeah, he's sort of at 16 years of age. I remember him coming into my office and sitting down and asking questions about our game plan. And uh, he walked out, and I think it might have been Tom Harley, I walked into Tom's office afterwards and said, that kid will captain the footy club at some stage. Just. He just had it written all over him. He was just such a massive competitor, really loved his footy, thoughtful, even at that young age. And he's been everything and, and more. And since he's, since he's come through the system, you know, he's, he's just a really important integral cog to this footy club on a whole heap of 
um, ways. He's you know, he won our best and fairest last year, our club champion award last year. He's all Australian. He's um, a massive competitor, and um, he's just a really important player. That younger group underneath Ramps and Parks, you know, that younger group coming through, he's an important leader. Is he getting back to his best now this season? Like he had a obviously interrupted start positionally and with injury, but mm. the last few weeks he looks like he's back to that form of last year a bit. Yeah, he got thrown to full back there on Tom Hawkins at one stage, so um, that was a big ask for him. But um, he missed six weeks with with an injury, and and um, and then he's sort of coming back after that. And and um, look, he's he's feeling a bit better. He's um, you know, it's still he's still his body's still getting used to the grind of you know coming back after a six week break. So. Um, we feel like he's so flexible though, we can play him inside, we can play him wing, half forward, half back um, and that's the beauty of him, we can play him in any position and know that he'll have a real impact so you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's a key player and such an important player around our club. I just want to ask about Errol, like, he's having, having a great year obviously, mm. from day one we've seen how good he is on the outside, has yeah. it surprised you at all this season? just how good he's been when he's been thrown on the ball and in the clinches for a young player whose strengths have been noted on the outside more? Um, not really, because you know you know he's a real competitor. Like, he's such a competitor. Um, he just goes so hard at it. And um, some, sometimes those guys just find a way. I mean, we we probably you know, thought his half-forward wing was probably even for this year. And, he's, you know, we've thrown him inside and he's done really well. He's just a... Uh, yeah, third year player, he's, he's doing all right and um, he's, a, he's really consistent now. Um, he values defence, he's a, he's a really strong attacking player but str values defence and contested footy. As a third year player, there's not much more you want from that and um, he's going really well.